This method is used to replate edge contacts by selective swab plating. Edge contacts may require replating if they become contaminated with solder or are scratched during handling. Other applications may arise when the plating on the edge contacts does not meet the minimum thickness specification or if the specification changes. This electroplating process uses a DC power supply. One lead is connected to the connector edge contacts that need plating. A second lead is connected to the plating probe. The plating probe has an anode fastened to the tip. The anode has absorbent trapping. The anode is dipped into high-speed proprietary plating solutions. When the saturated anode is swabbed across the circuit board connector edge contacts, the metal contained in the solution is plated wherever electrical contact is made. Prior to replating, any solder contamination must be removed. The minimum skill level needed to complete this procedure reliably is advanced. The conformance level reached when this procedure is completed properly is high. See the web page for a list of the tools and materials required to complete this procedure. The procedure follows. Procedure, plating process. Step 1. Place the circuit board on the board support so that the leading edge overhangs the rinse tray. Step 2. Make the cathode connection to the circuit board by using a plating probe or probe clip. Connect the probe clip directly to the wire bus connection or to the edge where conductive paint has been applied. The cable should be connected to the minus or black jack on the power supply. Step 3. Connect the plating probe to the power supply plus or red jack. Step 4. Set the output current on the power supply to setting recommended by the equipment manufacturer. Step 5. Dip the plating probe into the electroclean plating solution. Wait a few seconds for the solution to saturate the absorbent wrapping. Step 6. Swab the entire surface to be plated by brushing the surface with the saturated plating probe. The plating probe should be moved back and forth briskly to prevent burning and to provide even coverage. Swab the area for the time recommended by the equipment manufacturer. Step 7. Thoroughly rinse the entire area with water. Any burning or darkening of the contacts may be removed with an abrasive pad. Saturate the abrasive pad and the PC board surface with water and lightly buff the contacts until all evidence of the burning or discoloring is removed. Rinse the entire area with water. Caution. Do not allow the rework area to dry out between steps. The water coating prevents oxidation. Step 8. Connect the nickel plating probe to the power supply, plus, or red jack. Step 9. Set the output current on the power supply to the setting recommended by the equipment manufacturer. Step 10. Dip the plating probe into the nickel plating solution. Wait a few seconds for the solution to saturate the absorbent trapping. Step 11. Swab the entire surface to be plated by brushing the surface with the saturated plating probe. The plating probe should be moved back and forth briskly to prevent burning and to provide even coverage. Swab the area for the time recommended by the equipment manufacturer. Before rinsing, lightly buff the contacts with an abrasive pad. Step 12. Thoroughly rinse the entire area with water. Step 13. Connect the gold plating probe to the power supply, plus, or red jack. Step 14. Set the output current on the power supply to the setting recommended by the equipment manufacturer. Step 15. Dip the plating probe into the gold plating solution. Wait a few seconds for the solution to saturate the absorbent wrapping. Step 16. Swab the entire surface to be plated by brushing the surface with the saturated plating probe. The plating probe should be moved back and forth briskly to prevent burning and to provide even coverage. Swab the area for the time recommended by the equipment manufacturer. Step 17. Thoroughly rinse the entire area with water. Step 18. Remove and discard all plating tape and thoroughly rinse the area with water. Dry the area using an air sprayer or wipes. Step 19. Remove the wire or conductive paint used to bust the contacts. Caution. Apply high temperature tape to protect the contacts from further contamination while removing the bus connection. Step 20. Thoroughly rinse the entire area with deionized water or rinse the circuit board in an aqueous water cleaning system. Evaluation. Step 1. 
The rework area should be checked by measuring the thickness of the nickel and gold to make sure they meet the minimum thickness requirement. Step 2. The plating bond may also be checked by doing a peel test using peel testing tape. Step 3. Visually examine the rework area for color and luster 